holding up everybody else. So let's go to Capitol Hill. Jackie Alemany is standing by and let's talk about what is going to happen today. Do we have any idea in terms of deals that are being made or votes that are going to be had? What's on tap, Jackie? Yeah, Mika. Well, last night, as we were waiting outside of uh, Congressman Tom Emmer's office, there was a meeting between uh, these hardline Republicans who have been uh, very much in, in the never Kevin Camp, Matt Gates, uh, Lauren Boebert, Chip Roy, Scott Perry, who were meeting with people like Brian Fitzpatrick uh, and, and uh, Patrick McHenry and a handful of, of moderates and allies of Kevin McCarthy, along with McCarthy himself. And they were trying to hash out some sort of compromise to overcome this stalemate. Uh, emerging from this meeting, Chip Roy and Scott Perry appeared to be more open to a deal uh, and, and seemed to soften their approach to McCarthy and said that there was tremendous progress that was made. And, and while a vote did not happen uh, last night, per se, and uh, that McCarthy didn't make it over the finish line and might not make it over the finish line again today, that, that the talks were constructive. But there, there are still this handful of five members who are, are really dug in and are never Kevin forever. Matt Gates, Lauren Boebert, uh, Bob Good. Um, but it is notable that now you're seeing people like Scott Perry and Chip Roy uh, who are trying to, to get there, who, you know, have spent the last few days maybe making um, some some progress in these can get obtaining some of these concessions, which we've reported now that McCarthy is open to lowering the threshold um, to uh, start a motion to vacate to one member. This means that it would only require one member to object to McCarthy's speakership to prompt a vote on the House floor. So that this chaos that we've been seeing this week, we could see a lot more of it if Kevin McCarthy does ultimately become the speaker. Uh, these members also might now have more slots on the powerful House Rules Committee so they could dictate um, the processes and the way that some of uh, what we're seeing happen in Congress actually happens. Um, but uh, I think today we could finally see the other side bite back a little bit from McCarthy. These moderates have been vehemently against lowering the threshold for the motion to vacate. They know how chaotic it could be. Um, so I'm very curious to see. I think we're, we're going to have a couple of more iterations of these ballots with McCarthy failing. And I, I'm curious to see if moderates actually now are objecting because they do not want these rules to cause such dysfunction.